Understanding Sandy Loam, a gardener's best friend. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning channel. Today, we're going to discuss a term that's very useful for all the green thumbs out there. Sandy Loam. Whether you're a gardening enthusiast or simply looking to expand your English vocabulary, understanding this phrase can be quite beneficial. So, let's dig into the world of soil and learn what sandy loam is all about. Sandy loam refers to a type of soil that combines three textures, sand, silt, and clay. The word sandy means that sand is a prominent component in this mix. Sand is gritty and coarse. When you hold it, it flows easily through your fingers. Loam is a fertile soil type that mixes these elements in a balanced way, with none overpowering the other. This balance gives sandy loam its reputation for being an ideal growing medium for plants. It has good drainage thanks to the sand, which helps prevent water from standing too long at the roots, a condition that can be harmful to many plants. One of the biggest challenges in gardening is finding the right soil for plants to thrive. Sandy loam is important because it has several qualities that make it ideal for this. Good drainage. It allows excess water to drain quickly. Easy to work with. It's easy to till, which means it's easy to work with when planting. Nutrient rich. It can hold nutrients well, which are essential for plant growth. Aeration. It allows air to reach the roots of the plants, which is vital for their development. By understanding these qualities, gardeners can see why sandy loam is often the go-to choice for many gardening applications. So how do you know if you have sandy loam in your garden? Here are a few simple ways to identify it. Texture test. Take some soil in your hand and moisten it. Sandy loam should feel gritty due to the sand, but also slightly smooth from the silt. Ball test. Try to form a ball with the moist soil. Sandy loam will form a loose ball that crumbles easily. Jar test. Fill a jar with soil and water, shake it, and let it settle. The layers that form will show you the composition of your soil. Knowing how to identify sandy loam can help gardeners understand their soil's current condition and what they might need to add or adjust for optimal plant growth. That's all for today's lesson on sandy loam. I hope you now have a clear understanding of what this term means and why it's significant for anyone interested in gardening or soil. Remember, knowing your soil is the first step to successful gardening. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to bringing you more helpful videos on English language learning. Keep practicing, and happy gardening!